Danita here and Opal. Hey guys. Hey, we're excited to come here and just honestly give you some ideas for cravings. We also get these horrible cravings. And so these <laughs> are just options that we really love that kind of help uh, satisfy our cravings and we want to share that with you. But first, why do we even get these cravings? Yeah, uh, thanks for asking that. Um, I honestly, at one point in my life, did not have any idea or clue about how and why we get cravings. But you know what was really interesting to me is that men seem to not get cravings, but women do. Mm. And then I ended up finding this really cool, it was called cycle syncing, and learning more about the four different phases we go through in our hormones in 28 days. Versus men go through it more like a year, we are in shorter periods of time that our body goes through all these different changes. And what I learned is that the last two weeks in our cycle, which is called the luteal phase and the menstrual phase, is actually our body uses up 80% of the nutrients we've had all month long. Oh my. Hence the reason why we get cravings, you guys. What I have found, I'm going to show you a couple techniques that I like to do that gives us that balance where we can still be able to enjoy the foods that we like, but create a little bit more of that minerals, vitamins, and, and um, things that maybe we're missing out on so that we can create that perfect harmony with our bodies again. Awesome, let's do it. Let's get started. <laughs> hey guys, Opal here. Um, I'm gonna share with you today, if we're having a craving for something really salty, and for me, that's like a potato chip or, or something like that, but this is what I switched it up to when I'm craving that really salty food. We're going to do a stuffed avocado with tuna and some other things, which is really great. And so um, what we've got is some light tuna, We've got some avocados. We've got some mayo. I have a light mayo, but there's lots of different options here. Um, you know, you could do like an avocado mayo. This is a fat, but I, I only use a little bit of it and it's mostly to help my mixture and just give it like a little bit of that flavor. And then a little bit of salt and pe pepper for some extra flavor as well. So we're just gonna start by cutting our avocado and then I'm going to take out the pit, which I gotta grab a spoon real quick, so. Bear with me. Okay, so the way that I do this with the spoon is so that I have enough space to put my mixture in. And so I'm going to take out my pit, but then I'm also going to take out a little bit extra just so that I have some room for my mixture. So we're just gonna scoop that out just like so. Maybe just a little bit more on this one because it's a little smaller. And then we're gonna start with our mixture. So for our mixture, <clears throat> we're gonna put the tuna in the bowl, and I'm gonna do both so that I have enough for my avocado. And then I'm just gonna mix that up a little bit, just kinda break it up. And then I'm gonna add in some mayo to make it, make it a little bit easier to mix and give it a little bit of flavor. So as you can see, I'm not adding a lot. I'm also gonna add in some pepper. And we're gonna do a little salt. I haven't used this salt specifically myself. It's a little bit thicker. And so I'm going to put it in my hand first. So that way I'm just like not over salting it. So we're gonna make sure that that's nice and mixed up. And that's just kind of your preference as to how mixed you like it. I like mine like really ground up so that it scoops in really nicely. And so once you have that all nice and mixed, then we're gonna add it into our avocados. And then you're just scooping it out like its own little bowl. It's delicious and it hits that craving with that nice saltiness, but I'm getting in my protein, I'm getting in my good fats, I'm getting in everything I need, and I feel satisfied. So now you give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. All right, we're trying this. Opal has showed me this, and this is actually, I've never had it before, so let's go ahead and take a little crack at it. What do we think? Mm. You know, the salt does really it make balance it out. Doesn't that? It really wow. does. There, and you know what, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not much of an avocado fan either. And being able to have something maybe a little bit different or if it's the salt, it really creates a lot of flavor. And dude, look how quick that was, you guys. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was awesome. Dude, Opal, I'm gonna say 10 out of 10 on this one. Welcome in, today we have Monroe, and I asked her, what do you do for cravings, especially when it's more of a sweet tooth? So she showed, she told me about her acai bowls that she makes mm -hmm. that have high protein in them. So take it away, girl, share us what you got. Okay, so today I usually do make an acai bowl, but they didn't have any at the store, of course. But I have some yogurt for you guys. So I like to add in yogurt and I make sure that it has um, as much protein as possible even in the yogurt. And I like to do the Greek because it's healthier. Yeah. It's healthier. 
for you, okay? And so I like to add however much you would like, and my secret is protein powder, okay? You will need this in to make sure you get that protein in every day. You hit that mark that you need to get, and then you look as hot as you want to, babe. <laughs> so you mix that all together, and then we have all of these toppings here for you. And you can do anything that you would like. I like bananas, bananas are my favorite. And I have strawberries and raspberries, so get that fruit in there for you. And then we have protein granola. You can do normal granola as well, but we put that on as well. And then pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, and then any variety of nuts. So we will put all of that on very quickly. So look how pretty this is looking. Yes, it is. I feel like this is like You a can put it anywhere, and you can make designs if you would like. It's like a little art project. And I like to think of food as fun and not like it's a chore. So this is very fun to do. Look how pretty and colorful that is. Here we are gonna test out Monroe's dish. What do I'm you think? I'm so excited. I really am excited too. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit. I really love bacon, and I just wanna add a little bit of protein and fats in there for me. I'm gonna try it. Really? Yeah, I just want to try it. Miss Plant Base is getting <laughs> yeah. a little bacon up in here. You know what would be really good too is coconut mm. flakes. That'd be really good on here. I know Monroe really likes to do those flakes. Mm. Mm -hmm. We ended up using vanilla, but we also have chocolate. So if you have a huge chocolate craving, you could use that as your protein instead. So great job on the other girls having time to cook, but are you one of those girls that just doesn't have time to cook? Well, that's me. So I'm gonna show you these five second things that you can do that are full of protein and it's gonna really help you with those cravings, all right? So let's dive into it. So one is five second protein shake. Whether you like that chocolate or that vanilla, have at it. The next sweet thing, if you're craving something on the sweet end, is um, chopping up whatever type of apples that you like. Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of that crispy kind of bitterness along with your kind of sweeter end. And you can actually mix protein powder into your peanut butter or almond butter and create more of that Instead of have fat, you can lean it into more of that protein. Next is, I don't know if you've ever had the booty balls and the recipe is absolutely super simple, you guys. Um, it is in the Booty Bands and Barbells app and there's really only like five ingredients. You can make it your own. So if there's not an ingredient in there that you're not really fond of, feel free to substitute it out, okay? The other ones, all the other ideas are salty. So if you're craving those potato chips and you're just not sure what is a great substitute, let me show you what to do. I love popcorn, you guys. It's my absolute go-to at the very end of the night where um, I gravitate towards the sea salt and the olive oil instead of the butter. We don't need that. The next one here, Opal showed me this one, excited to share with you. What she did is that tuna and the mayo with a little bit of some of that pepper and salt mixed in with some of these nut thins. Love them. So leaning a little bit more towards the higher fiber of your carbohydrates is always a good call. The next one for salty is if you're craving those just simple raw vegetables with whatever type of hummus you're in the mood for. They make an everything hummus, they make the sun-dried tomato or a pesto, they make all such fun little different kinds and again, you don't have to cook anything. The other ideas that I have on here is a healthy trail mix. So instead of gravitating towards those like M&Ms or just that high sugar, look for things that have like those nuts and seeds or the fruits that leaning more towards the fiber side, right? That was a great one. The other option is um, I love that jerky so they even actually make plant-based jerky now you guys that you can also do so different types of jerky and then also just simple pump pumpkin seeds that you can run around with so look how simple you guys five seconds you can have all these different ideas but don't let it stop you here there's so many other ideas out there that you can get creative with it as well I'm really really snacky like I've got the munchies but I'm like craving like a, you know like unhealthy food do you have some good snack options for me? Do you're looking at it. I do. What do you think? These, these Which actually one look pretty good. Like they could satisfy me. I oh. love pumpkin seeds. Road trips, perfect mm. for road trips. Nice and Instead salty. Of those chips. Mm -hmm. unhealthy chips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want somebody to cut this for me mm. so that it just turns even easier. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Wow, I feel like that popped. That hummus. was that was really mm -hmm. kind of hummus. These are really good, Classic. you guys. Classic. It's got some olive oil in it. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's try it out. I'm not usually like the biggest hummus fan, mm -hmm. so let's see how it is. That wasn't much of a big avocado tuna, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you That's do it? That's pretty good, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's original. Well, this is why I'm glad that you gave so many different options mm -hmm. because not everyone likes the same thing, so. That's awesome. It was awesome having you in our kitchen today and excited to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.